Last season, Jake O'Brien was forced to watch his team play each and every game while he sat on the bench. After suffering an ankle injury, he spent all last year as a medical red shirt. But that year off has made his time on the court this season that much more special. It's, it's great. Um, it was a long, you know, year and a half for me battling injuries, and to finally get to the point where you know I can get almost a full season under my belt now. While transfers usually spend a season sitting on the bench and not being able to play, O'Brien's case is an unusual case. As Boston University was banned from postseason play, he decided to transfer to a school that could play in the tournament. That brought him to Temple where he found Fran Dunphy, his fourth coach in four years. Something you don't anticipate when you come into college, you, you know, you, you commit to a school and you go to a school thinking you're gonna play for one coach for four years, doesn't happen that way. Um, so it's been, it's been difficult, but you know, fortunately I've had the opportunity to play for, you know, good, really good coaches and just learn different ways with, you know, pro. O'Brien's final college year has been mixed. He has been the first or second player off the bench in most games, and despite another 20-win season for Temple, the season has had its shares of rough losses and memorable wins. That Madison Square Garden game against Syracuse was great. Um, to be able to, you know, beat a top-five team like that in New York City, you know, under the, the circumstances, it was, uh, it was really exciting. Definitely a game I'll remember. With March upon us, Jake O'Brien, number 22 from Temple's team, not only have optimistic views for the A-10, but also for the dance. With no number one true seed in the tourney, can Temple actually win it this year? Yeah, I mean, we all think we're going to win. I mean, that's that's the goal. That's what you know. You play play the game thinking you're going to win. 